Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course, Tis I, the only Archer Archer Astrology. Let me go get Instagram. Hang on just a second. I'm going to miss this. I like this. This is so much fun. All right, let's do it to it. Tis I, the only Archer with Archer Astrology. Hi Instagram, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, Tis I, the only Archer with Archer Astrology. I'm over on YouTube at Archer Astrology if you'd like to come check out everything that's going on there. All right. Thank you very much for being here. Welcome. If you're new, welcome back to, of course, um, Pisces. We're going to take a look at the energy around you and the one on your mind for a week ahead, looking at the middle of April of 2024-ish, or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit, because my readings... Okay, Pisces, that counts as a hug. You don't try to hide it. Pisces is like, no, I'm fine. I don't need a hug. My deck jam, just enough to count. I count that, okay? So we're going to Hallmark movie, swoop you up, give you a hug, spin you around, spinny hug style, till your heels fly right off your hair. It starts like your ponytail flies in the breeze. Everything goes kind of wild, and you start giggling. Your dimples might show a little bit, okay? Side effects couldn't include your heart chakra widening and opening up, and you feeling a little silly, wanting to laugh a little bit more, okay? If the symptoms continue, come back for more hugs, all right? Offer eligible in Alaska and Hawaii and all over the world. Nice. Now we're doing it. All right. Pisces, like I was saying, we're going to take a look at the energy around you and the one on your mind. Middle of April 2024 or whenever, because my readings are timeless and they're meant to find you when they find you. And I appreciate you for being here with me, YouTube, Instagram and more. All right. If you can return the love for me, please. And thank you. And whoa, six of pentacles to the moon card. That's your sign. There is something underneath the neon moon that you want to work out and come together with this six of pentacles. Maybe like something that you feel like you're winning an energetical jackpot or something that allows this meeting of the minds to come together on this. Okay, so you maybe you're not letting it show totally, but we're going to find out more. Definitely. It's what I'm here to do. Um, return the love for me, please. Love the like down here. Share the channel. Share the video. Help get us out there so the family can grow and we can just heal everybody. YouTube pays attention to the interactions and I appreciate you for it. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications over here because I do go live every Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. for an all signs from Aries to you, plus a card for each sign. Queen of Swords, you're like, I know all this stuff already, Archer. <laughs> there is with the devil. Whoa, that just came out for Aquarius too. All right, interesting. So there is something that you're tuning into and wanting to work through. You are on a pedestal right now. Okay, so you're glowing. And it's... When I sat down to read your energies, that was what I came up for a title. Like they've noticed your glow up and how you're feeling and that intuitively as I meditated on it, the Queen of Swords showed up. Strong Gemini energy where you're on that pedestal or you just like the hug. You go put your heels back on. Huh? You got you to gotta get up. Maybe you're wanting to do something public speaking that had you a little nervous, but then find your way through it. I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, the April contest is on. The most recent All Signs is posted on my channel. So you've got until the 17th of April to enter. There are four chances to win. I've got four awesome prizes for my adventures in Cleveland. Um, all, I, all I got to show for it's a t-shirt, but I like t-shirts. I, I collect t-shirts. All right. So um, yeah, but you've got four chances to win. All the details are over on the most recent All Signs. So you can head over there, check that out. And um, definitely enter. All you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, have the bell set to all notifications, and then down in the comments section over on that most recent all signs from last night, just hashtag Archer Astrology, then hashtag your sign, their sign, hashtag your favorite radio station, hashtag stop this stuff, Archer. I don't care what you do with you. All right. And you're entered. Next Thursday night, we'll draw four names who will win four said prizes. Okay. Four chances to win this month. So something I do as a thank you to give back to you guys, okay? And I appreciate you for it. Um, feel free to page the swords all over the channel as much as you'd like as well, because I've got Healing Music Bass covers with Bill. He's an awesome little Gemini. He's just a four string, but he's cool. And we've got three new songs from My Adventures in Cleveland coming your way for the bass cover playlist. So stay tuned to that. From the greats, the Beatles, might've heard of them, little garage band out of Liverpool. Um, John Lennon, he was a pretty cool solo artist. He's going places for sure. And of course, Caitlin Petty, she's going even more places, but yeah. It's fun times, so definitely hang out and just take a break because when life gets to you and you've watched a lot of tarot and you've worked all day and you've been working eight days a week, thanks Ringo, then, you know, take take two and a half minutes to yourself. A little Pisces time is always needed and just be a part of it. I also go live Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m. for a pick a card reading where my decks pick you, more of which are available over in the playlist. So just feel free, pay the stories throughout the playlist, check the whole channel out. I got everything good wise for you there, okay? All right, so Pisces, we're going to take a look at the energies for you and the one on your mind, looking ahead, seeing what's coming in, because the sun is in Aries now, the moon's in Gemini, heading towards Cancer, 
And everybody else might be getting into that mood set of, uh oh, cancer energy. Everybody's going to be crying, be a little wild child in that. But I like to think more of cancer, less of the crab and more like the turtle. You know, turtle, turtle, turtle. Where that was back when they were considered the moon baby and not the cry baby, going deeper into the emotions and reflecting back from the past. Whoa, you just gave half the deck up on my table. What's up with that? All over the place. Temperance to the Knight of Wands, to the Emperor, to the Ten of Swords. Okay, I've told you you're in your power. Maybe you're even feeling a little nervous about how to proceed with it. But this here shows with the Knight of Wands to Temperance that you're finding that balance to stay stable. And, and Knight of Wands, a life coach. Maybe you are actually doing something on stage or like a TED Talk or you do like remote healing or you've got a YouTube channel. But you've got confidence even if you're not letting it show. It's an energy that precedes you. But anyhow, as we were saying with the astrology right now, there, it's, there's three planets in your sign. That's like a P Pisces stellium. Whoa, right? That's some powerhouse that deeply connects you right to the divine. Then on top of it, there's even more going on in your sign as if that wasn't enough. Mercury's retrograde, Juno's retrograde. So it's like maybe you've had all those retrograde feelings for a while. But then Cupido is in your sign. Fortuna is in your sign. Bumblebee tuna, bumblebee tuna. Somebody's watching a Jim Carrey movie right now. Or they've got a blank check wrote in their wallet just like Jim Carrey did. Oh, look at you manifest, Pisces. All right. But your dominant rock, Neptune, is in your sign too. So right there is what puts you on that pedestal because you're home. Just like the moon going into Cancer this weekend, TGIF energies prevail for it. Where you're comfortable, you, you kind of feel like you're where you belong. So this here is going to go deep as we look for truth, for justice. Okay, Pisces, easy. The moon card is back to the four of wands, to the hangman on the magician. So basically your whole reading is showing up here. That's your energy coupled up to Mercury retrograde to manifest, to find, find truth, to find equality, manifest your dreams, and to, without judgment, with the four of wands to the six of wands, the twin flame card instantly shows up. So your wishes that make you feel good, make you feel comfortable, fourth house energy. And, and when you're home, you're, you're able to be yourself, to let your hair down, kick your shoes off, and just chill out. It's actually a pretty fun weekend that's in store with the six of wands victory. All right, maybe you're into music or writing something. Six of Wands is Caitlin Petty showing up with all her buddies winning a country music award ahead of time. Or you're into music or Caitlin Petty could be a Pisces. She won't tell me your sign. She won't tell me your birthday even. But I dig it. This, this would be Pisces energy too, where it's like, well, if I don't tell you my birthday, then I get to have a lot of birthdays. All right, so you're getting all the gifts as they strengthen and going for the real truth, okay? All right, so let's do it to it. We've gotten through this. Nine cards on the table, 10th card at the bottom of the deck. The Millennial Tarot is going to handle the heavy lifting for you with the base cards. And then Pisces. Okay, now just stop it, Pisces. <laughs> Ace of Cups to the Six of Wands. Oh my goodness. With the Ace of Swords, a pair of Aces comes in. When this starts happening, we're on point. There is something you're manifesting and it's a real deal. Swiping right. Maybe it's some kind of unique online dating thing where you're not really tindering, but you're you're just like, you've got this connection. Could be somebody you, you're hanging out with, working with. All right, where it's that power couple vibes because you guys connect, okay? But we're going to maintain that energetical rhythm and tempo because it's the real deal that you're looking for. And then the music tarot from Cleveland, um, which I'm two of cups, really. What made me pick that up? This is going to handle all the clarifiers. We're throwing a boatload of clarifiers at it all over the table, much like you've been doing this whole time. And that's why I love you, Pisces. We're going deep. All the messages, your highest and greatest good. You know how that goes. I'm your ride or die. I'm the crystals. I got you covered, okay? All right, feel free to skip all this stuff. However, there's a lot of neat details in here for you if you pay attention to it, all right? So let's go for it because you are feeling at home, comfortable, and being yourself, all right? So let's do it to it. Pisces, what do we have for Pisces? Thoughts, feelings, emotions, all the good stuff. Let's roll. Two shuffles, Pisces. Here we go. One and two. That don't count. That don't count, Pisces. You think you're cute, which you are. Oh my gosh, the Ace of Cups is there again. On the Ace of Wands. How many Aces do you need? Well, that's not safe for you two, but you're feeling it. King of Wands to the Five of Cups. You're overcoming something very good, but now we got to do it again. Got to maintain the tempo and the rhythm. So this time with feeling. Here we go. One and two. Close it up for government work. Let's love this deck for the pretty proud pure Pisceans. Let's do this. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. You already saw this coming, didn't you? The outcome's the ace of wands. Whoa. That is the whoa, that is some passion that's igniting this forward. There's some love with the devil. 
that you're working through, that came out on the bottom of the deck for Aquarius and the Two of Wands. You're literally naturally progressing through this energy here. You're finding the real deal in the outcome here. Something that with that Two of Wands, Aries energy, you can make it together in this one here, okay? This is this is like, this isn't, this ain't pleather. Okay, if you're Pisces, it's into like like the pleather skirts or the pleather pants. You're going the real deal, like rich, fine Corinthian leather on this one here, okay? Corinth is known for their leather. It's awesome. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's go for it. Here we go. Hi, Cappy Goat. What up, Cappy? Say hi to my mod squad down in the chat. Hey, Cancer Starseed. All right, let's roll. Pisces has been all over my deck so far, so let's see what's going on here. Your current energy is the Ace of Cups. All the preview cards is basically your reading. It's coming back. That's wild. So you are, you've had your feel of the feelings that you've been feeling like a fire hose of emotions that just got you ready to go. Like maybe the same thing with this, Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, that's a pair of Aces coming in. Like you've got more notes, more notebooks than you know what to do with. Like you're one of like, you, like you keep like the bedside notebooks and you got another notebook over here. Or I'm talking to a Pisces that really likes post-it notes. Neat. But there's something that you've already made the decision and swiped right on. The Emperor is your immediate influence on this as well. Aries energy could be an Aries you're dealing with too, but you are in a powerful position ruling, ruling the roost, so to speak on this. The emperor is that ability to manage and run a kingdom, strong masculine energy on this one here to be the boss. All right. And manifest. It's the architect that draws up the plans, keeps everything in order and keeps things moving onto this one here. All right. So it's, it's really relating back to Aries energy, the dominant programming at the beginning of your, maybe you're looking into your childhood more and seeing where you come from. Monarch butterfly for honorable mentions, easy on that stuff. But you know, there's something deep that you're working to grow over and heal from. All right. Your goal or destiny. What do we got for you? Justice. My goodness. This came out for Aquarius too. Justice card, Libra energy, your goal, your destiny, what you're not so much of what you want, you know, what you really, really want. It's also what you're here to do as a Pisces. I mean, you're basically the door, the bouncer for Club Divine. You know, nobody gets in to see a guy, not nobody, no, no, huh, unless they come through, right? So, and and you won't be swayed. You're very truthful on this one here. Maybe like you're in like, like a teacher or straight up to the top where you're like a super superintendent, all right? But whatever it is, you, you're here to actually, you you teach others, you nurture others. Maybe it's like why you feel destined for this, like this public role or this or whatever puts you in the limelight because it's part of your energetical blueprint. When you got in front of Dr. Michael Isaac Newton and you're like, I want to be a Pisces. They're like, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. You're going to wind up with the moon card in tarot. And you're like, it's cool. I got this. And before you know it, boom, somebody shows up, knocks on your door, you're a fish out of water, you know, but you're rising above it right now. The energies are in your sign to have this going forward, okay? Feeling really comfortable with what's happening here, okay? So let's see what's going on on their side of the fence. Their energy is the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Once the Ace of Swords, wait, the Ace of Swords did show. You got all four Aces. You got four Aces. Now, I'm not much of a betting man, but you might want to grab a scratch-off ticket or something like that. It's the Ace of Pentacles on their side. They've got something new that they've been through. They have rose into a lot of energies here to start something new, start something fresh. There could be something like investments involved or some kind of an online business because see the laptop and the little bits of stuff set up here to go forward it's that ability to manifest and create from this one here okay it's you guys are both in this newer fresh energy as pluto shifts into aquarius to to alter the mindset and you might have met in the most unusual of ways the ways that nobody else would guess imagine or think of and that's how you two met okay but they're in a fresh start too you guys both got the notebooks going on and everything coming in there it's popping the bubbly too i just noticed the drinks there on the side table for this so yeah it's that it's literally that liquid water and emotions okay now what is their immediate influence it's the four of swords libra aquarius energy a little bit of both shows up on this but that is look at how it's self-care they're they're like recharging they're resting they're rejuvenating the fours are the reason tarot to give a rebirth to this and look how it's stay put did you see how heavy this is they don't want me to tap into it but i'm sorry it's what i was trained to do four of swords they are heavy in their healing their care and even leveling up to something here they 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 dream about you they think about you a lot so this could be somebody that came back in or you were manifesting a powerful energy in this one here too i'm definitely seeing that both of you all got empathic abilities where you just like you enter into a room and you get overwhelmed really quick or easily and then you begin to take the emotions in and you power through it where you're just like oh i feel this i know what's going on so you guys get each other on the same level here and they've been through a lot of the similar energy as you okay Maybe they, I'm seeing that they might admire your eyes too. Talk to a Pisces that enjoys like either eye makeup or you do like the smoky cat eye thingy with your makeup 
you know, or you wear contacts, which I give props to anybody who can wear contacts. I cannot. I don't even wear my glasses half the time. I don't even see the camera right now. You know what I mean? So it's it's that ability, like anybody that's brave enough where they can take and, and like, uh, I try to keep sharp things away from my eyeballs, right? So, but it's that ability. You guys work together on this to develop this clear 2020 vision, all right? Gifts are strengthening. Maybe you've actually helped and taught each other through something. <clears throat> Throat chakra. All right. Let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it, and see what a potential influence is. It's the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. And as we do approach Taurus season at the end of the month, that is actually a massive shift that's re-energizing a lot of energies between, between Jupiter and Uranus. Poor Uranus, the butt of all science class jokes. Oh, I digress. But this is something to move forward where you guys actually get your hustle on together. Maybe you're actually into writing and you guys write together. Like one of you guys is the editor and one of you guys puts the story in line there. But it's that ability to, to make through the shuffle and every day you're hustling to keep up this culture and to roll forward in it to manifest something where you guys work really well together, okay? So it's so often that that you don't find this anymore, but there's a journey you guys want to complete on this together, all right? Right around April 20th, 21st, will be something that really resonates. And you or them could actually, I see you be born on the 11th, possibly, even as well as the 4th. The second or the seventh comes out, definitely the first or the 11th as well, too. Or you're dealing with life path number one. Or you could, you might actually be the manifesting generator on this one too, okay? If you've done the LMNPQ elephant man, man symbol test, it's a really long test. But maybe you found out that you're here to project out and manifest and bring your dreams into reality, okay? Now, what's the incoming energy on the connection? It's the chariot, cancer energy. Foot on the gas, no, I'm going to crash. But I'm also hearing the always on the go, can't say no. Where this starts moving really fast and you guys together transmute the energy into something totally new and different like going from the time when living in a van down by the river was was not so great into glamping and taking things to another level travel communications something that winds up going on like the world tour energy out of this one okay so it's that ability to to be able to believe in each other as much as you believe in yourselves equal reciprocity okay and i'm thinking of with titanic's on her maiden voyage right now in the other in the 1912 timeline i'm seeing those big triple expansion reciprocating engines say that one three times fast and those things had like 22 foot diameter pistons to keep that titanic moving forward and everything from those giant pistons that pumped at 78 rpms to keep titanic moving at 22 knots to the electricity that powered the generators the cooling system the water everything it was all ran by steam all right down in those boiler rooms where the fire and the water came together to make steam that kept things going forward with the ace of wands Maybe working on balancing out and the outcome here to go forward with that not so safe for YouTube passion, but there's deep love behind it as well as grounded earth energy. Okay, so let's take a look at what the environmental factors are. Interesting. It's the nine of swords. Overcoming those emotions up all night, playing Caitlin Petty, staring at the ceiling on repeat while you're looking for the mirrors and the champagne and the birthday cake. Okay, all signs are pointing to Pisces for her. Interesting. Anyhow. <laughs> I eventually do stuff like that. Anyways, this is that silence that overcomes the emotions. Being up late on Sunday, trying to think things through, just trying to look for your guidance. I'm seeing a Pisces that like grips onto a necklace that that's their guidance to from above. And in one of those, like the standard law of attraction, leveling up to a whole new level of like the law of resonance, where you're you're grateful for what comes out. And Jeopardy, phrasing your 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 entire manifestations in the form of question. All right, and being able to rise through and above it, and just being grateful. And following a new energetical path, all right, it's hitting that point where it's the completion to go forward. And you guys can work together to overcome these energies, which takes us towards your inner emotions. King of Pentacles. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who is your daddy and what does he do? But you're going to get to the chopper on this one here because something here is coming in to allow you guys to speak each other's love languages and to overcome these moments, four swords to the nine of swords, that lets you powerhouse through this. Especially with that strong empathic abilities that I picked up on here. I'm seeing that I'm pulling that from your side with this justice card showing the full moon up here. The full moon happening later this month in Scorpio, that could be the one, right? Because that's going to really get deep into, into a whole nother realm. Scorpio energy is very unique and auspicious and amazing. I adore Scorpio so much. Oh my goodness. I could listen to a Scorpio all day long. All right. You could be actually possibly dealing with, I'm seeing Cancer energy, of course, is here along with Capricorn. A lot of cardinal energy. Have you got all of them? You've got Capricorn, you've got Aries, you've got Cancer, and you've got Libra. 
Whoa, you might have some strong placements from talking to a Pisces that's watching all their signs and placements because you are on the positive uphill slide for this, okay? The cardinal signs are feeling the biggest effects in a positive energy on this shift, okay? So give me everything you've got on your side. You've also got um, Gemini is here, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, also Taurus, all the earth signs. Who was underneath here? Oh yeah, I've already mentioned Capricorn. Nine of Wands too. So strong Sagittarius as well. Hey Ed, how you doing? Thanks for coming. And thank you, Instagram. Appreciate you all for being here too. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Go check me out over on the YouTube channel because there's a whole week left to enter the April contest, okay? Appreciate you. All right. Give me everything you've got in this Ace of Cups to the Emperor to the Justice card because you, you are powerhouse right now. Three of Swords to the Eight of Cups to the Hangman. Told you you're in your energy. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Justice squared on the King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Miley Cyrus. Hannah Montana energy, where you get the best of both worlds that comes out on this. Interesting. You've been through a lot, though, where you're just holding your own, keeping yourself together. Pisces energy with the hanged man to find a way to powerhouse through these energies to make things work out for you. That's Patty Smith, okay, who was a multifaceted artist. Maybe you like to paint. Then you also write. Then you also do music. And you're just in multi-levels like her. And if you check out some of her work, she is a, incredible and can manifest and create art out of anything on this one here too. So you've had your fill of the standard traditional feelings and you're finding direct guidance to go forward onto this one here. Maybe as that empathic energy I've picked up, you are Pisces. You are the most nurturing sign in the Zodiac where you go through a lot in the course of a day. All right. And you're working on finding that balance and justice with the Eight of Cups. You had to walk away from those that couldn't keep their hands on their own paste, couldn't like keep things in perspective here. And you're going deeper back to affect it, but you don't know why it doesn't seem to affect them so much. You could actually be a supernova empath possibly with this three of swords. I like it though, because these three of swords are clean. All right, the blood's been washed off. They're not cutting anything there and they're ready to be hung up on the wall for the forest swords. So you guys actually are helping each other on a healing journey, the one on your mind. If it's somebody new that you're manifesting in, cool. It's you're bringing in the one that you're asking for. If it's that one coming back, it's that's the energy I pulled is that somebody coming back around that has changed their ways because you like you, you like put them in their perspective, so to speak, to be polite on this one here. But their guards up. OK, this is where you're done with the small talk. You're over talking about the work and the weather and you want to know why the guard is up. Eight of cups. That's your energy, mutable energy to adapt and walk away from the situations that no longer seem appropriate, but to put things in perspective, you don't leave people unread. You don't leave people hanging, okay? Because you're Pisces. You've got that nurturing ability to adapt and go with the flow. You just want what's fair and balanced for everybody. And, there's, and, a, and, a, and a, a supernova empath is that is that ultimate empath, such as you, Pisces, with your deep connection to the divine and that that when you've taken on so much in the course of a day and so many energies coming in, like you enter into a room or a crowd, like getting ready to speak publicly, page of wants, and you go from, from Miley Cyrus to Hannah Montana, and it's like 20 minutes and out type of a thing. That's like the Beatles performing for 20 minutes, plug in the amps and bail, book, get off the stage type of a thing. That you take in so much energy in the course of the day that you need that time to go back and reflect because a supernova empath will take on so much energy, so much responsibility, so much of everyone else's burdens and, and the strifes and the struggles that they will pop like a supernova, okay? And, and create that energetical black hole where you need that time to reflect, to rest, and to do you, Pisces, okay? It's like, it's you've had these feelings for a minute and your King of Pentacles energy here shows that hypnotizing energy. Is that ability, like I'm talking to a Pisces that that after like after a day of work, you're driving home and all of a sudden you're just home. You're in your driveway. You don't know how you got there. And you're like, well, that car must have been on autopilot for a minute. You just kind of zone out because you've taken on so much in the course of a day that you just want the real love to come out of it, right? King of Pentacles, Andreas B.I.G. shows up, breaking that gaps and being hypnotized into the energies. Do, but boom, do, I'm totally hearing it, but I'm just, it's, it's, it's hypnotized, okay? But that ability to take on the world and find the truth, the justice that you seek can become very overwhelming at times where you have to pull back and rest and level up on this one here, okay? But it feels like in your mind, you're telling me, Archer, they never show up. Nobody ever shows up. I work so hard to be balanced, to be truth and justice. And then you wind up all the way back at your beginning point to roll forward into it. And it's like, you just want to know what's going on here. So you just keep going, okay? Nothing, I mean, you're Pisces. Nothing can stop you. 
And, you, and if you get to a Pisces, they will go from that pretty little Finding Nemo Dory to the Piranha, right? And we go and need a bigger boat, you know, Jaws energy. <laughs> Six of Wands. Thank you, Archer. When that pulls like that, oh my goodness. Six of Wands. And Petty getting that same victory on a Six of Wands. Literally, your whole card's popped out at the beginning of this. We can just go back. You can actually, instead of skipping the intro, where all the cool little astrology notes are at, and the little bits, everything ties to it, just watch the intro and leave the rest of this stuff behind. Because you got that victory to ride off into the sunset and let everybody else eat your dust, okay? And, and to rise above it. The King of Pentacles to the Three of Cups. The happiness is right there in the ethers that once you rest, you rejuvenate, then you like power through it. Beautiful energy, all right? Um, you could be born on the 29th. That popped out of there. Or is that a leap year, Pisces? Oh, you've got the fountain of youth. You age backwards. There's like It's like one to four ratio. I'm also seeing the 21st shows up. The 8th comes out as well as the 4th again is there plus the 3rd. Also the 17th and the 27th and the 7th. Interesting. Strong Leo, strong Virgo. Um, you're here along with Libra. It could be, it could be literally four fish, two Pisces, which is amazing energy. You guys can probably talk for hours. And also Scorpio and Libra. Also Cancer. All right, on this side of the fence, whoa, temperance just dropped. You're dealing with, you're dealing with a top shelf alchemer here. Two of Cups, Two of Swords, to the Hierophant on the Page of Cups in the Strength card. Could be a Cancer Leo Cusper or Cancer Leo energy. Those two are never far apart. But yeah, check this out. Temperance to the Three of Pentacles. Could be Sagittarius. Right there on that Ace of Pentacles. Whoa. You're dealing with somebody that comes in like to, to hand out the karma. They they initiate the awakenings in people that, that allow them to, to sort through their thoughts and rise above all this to to bring in that justice. Somebody that you might not even have, have even anticipated what they were in here. It's it's like they have been through so much. Two of Cups to the Two of Swords. Maybe 422 shows up. April 22nd. Check out the astrology on that one. I'll tell you more about it later too though. But with this Two of Cups to the Two of Swords, this is showing everything that they went through that brings us out. February 2nd. It could be a, uh, maybe your 22nd Pisces or they are. But on that Hierophant, they are from a whole nother realm in this one here. They they can't speak ill of you, though. Check this out. Page of Cups shows the love is there. Charles Guy Gambino showing up in that did something about the hat. Or they wear a hat. Or you got a hat on. It just went, it's wearing all those hats. They have dealt with so much with the Seven of Pentacles that they have to keep on hustling, keep on shuffling. That they have been through this point, that they've been down that road. Sagittarius energy. They're a powerful manifester. Like if you're a manifesting generator, they could be the projector that creates and brings these in from the water into the wine and keeping the earth and the water balanced into this one here to keep things going forward. So it's, they have been, oh my word, they have been left out in the cold so many times. It allowed them to manifest and go through this. Uh, condolences for something they might have dealt with as well. I don't want to go too far down that road. Taurus, Sagittarius energy, but yeah. Those moments of, of, of just staying in their shell, three of pentacles, Capricorn energy to measure twice, cut once, and make sure they get everything right because something, even before you guys met, cut them right down to the core. Two of swords to the two of cups. That actually left them in an emotional estate where they find themselves in a similar energy. But then you awaken the love in each other to bring this forward. And it's some divine guidance on your path with this one here. It's that ability that... They've had to always fend for themselves, Pisces. Oh my goodness. Wow. Give me, I, I, I'm, I'm going to, you know, condolences to anything that might be a strong transition like that. But there's nothing new on that side. This is the past energy. Three of Pentacles. Give me something on that there because that Three of Pentacles is staring me down. The Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy to the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. Whoa, there's the recovery. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Ten of Swords. They stay quiet and close off and guarded because they've, they've always had to be. This is that energy that somebody's looking at and being like, well, you're obviously looking for attention. What do you want? Nobody ever actually felt or heard them to be them. But on this Ten of Swords to that, like they know where their trees are planted. They know how to water them. They know how to get things rolling on this one here. Like they can't speak ill of you. You might think that if they're not talking that they're, they're in this mode, but they've had so many people speak ill of them. They don't have the ability to speak ill of anyone. Okay, they won't. They find the best in any situation with 15 swords shows up. You were going to be running the 15th. Also, the 25th comes out and the 7th. But the 5th shows up too with the 10th. But yeah, it's like this 10 of swords to the 5 of swords. Aquarius, Gemini energy shows up. 
that their communication can stay on point. I mean, they've already been through all the point where they've had all the swords in their back, so to speak, and had to rise up above it. Beatles Butcher album cover for honorable mentions, right? But with that Five of Swords, I love the Five of Swords. This one here is that ability. Aquarius is like an all sign. This could be, maybe you're a cusper. Are you dealing with an Aquarius over here? Because Aquarius goes deep. But yeah, that Five of Swords is those same clean three swords from their point of healing. That's the same point you are, where they've made it through that, but the other two swords remain upright, where they're willing to talk, but it's positive. They can't speak ill of you in this one because literally they they literally know how you feel, how everyone else feels. You got, We're dealing with two empaths, like I mentioned. But that love is there to let them rise up and, and come out in that energy that just supersedes you guys when you come into the room. All right? It's that love that, that's just given off that you just know it, that you just feel it when it comes to fruition on this one between the two of you guys. Wow. Strong Cancer energy. Aquarius and Gemini as well with Sagittarius is here. Cancer energy again. Libra's here. Also a little bit of Aquarius. And so all the air signs, they've got this amazing ability to two-way transmit right to the connections and to seek what they see on this one here, okay? So even if you don't see it, like, and you guys don't speak much, they have been left out in the cold so many times that they don't have the ability. They Whatever it is, they continue to wish well on anybody and to manifest from a place of positivity. So they're actually somebody that's coming in to meet you on your level with this one. If it's somebody new, it's that, that they've been down the same road you have. All right, let's see. Thank you. Appreciate you, God. Thank you. They're speaking with gratitude and, and manifesting with this here, okay? Interesting. Something about a guitar speaks to you, because I'm staring at Bruce Springsteen's guitar on there. Like, maybe you admire, or you play, or you guys write together, or or just like the songs. Those moments I was talking about when you're in your car alone, or something about a car trip between the two of you guys that you keep thinking about uh, that's coming to it, and wanting to just like bring it to a fruition. Amazing. It's kind of like put your money where your mouth is because there's a lot of swords and there's a lot of water, but there's not a lot of earth, okay? So let's see going forward. What is this once you go into that car ride and keep cruising, cruising through it, like eating at the drive-in, watching a movie? Because we did talk about Jim Carrey in that, right? But it's like a new or a remake. It's like a redo. Like somebody's watching Bridget Jones's Diary, okay? Let's see. The Nine of Swords, Gemini. Could be a Gemini Cancer Cusper or a Gemini with strong Cancerian placements in their chart. But that's that Nine of Swords to overcome the emotions, and it's on the Nine of Swords. You're then could be born on the ninth, and we've got repeating nines here. Number nine, number nine, to bring you to that point. You guys have been on that same road, okay? And it's that ability to, to find the trust in each other here, because you guys have both been down the same road. Did I not just mention that? And and to to rise to a whole new occasion where you guys can trust each other with the Empress. Oh my goodness. Five of Pentacles to the Strength card to the Six of Swords on the Seven of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is back. You are the one doing the manifestations on this because the Ace of Cups, much like the Justice card, the Two of Swords, is all your energies in the outcome here. It's it's the ability that, like, trying everything and finding out that nothing, that, like, nothing else compares to just missing you and those feelings that overcome on this one here to coming out of the cold. Emperor to the Empress shows up. You're in the Emperor status. The Empress comes in here. That's divine couple. That's Wayne and Garth. We're not worthy. Bohemian Rhapsody on repeat. And I just heard you never can tell off of this. Pulp Fiction might be a movie that you relate to or connect to, right? Where you just want to just get yeah, down there and, and, you know, just it was teenage wedding. Old folks wished them well. All that stuff to go forward, okay? So it's direct movement on this that you guys come out of the cold together to simply love and be loved and to not judge, to not find those prejudices that... The entire world is dealing and then to rise above it this is like multiple properties and investments and taking stock in what you what you want you know like when you're around this time in tax season you're worried about the pentacles it's the ability to do the math to figure it out and to find it out and invest in what you believe in you know like like i drink at starbucks i invest in starbucks you know if you've got a side hustle like let's say you door dash or something invest into it and it creates that long-term growth to go forward okay that strength card leo energy is Lady Gaga showing up for a whole nother energy when she said it couldn't be done. Like It's like the love show in Las Vegas at Cirque du Soleil. Maybe that's something that you find where they where Giles Martin was able to remaster and merge the Beatles songs together. My favorite on that track, on that album, is The Fool on the Hill because it's the, it's the Fool on the Hill from the Magical Mystery Tour combined with Because. And they, and they were able to blend them and auto-tune them and work them together for the Cirque du Soleil show. But the neatest thing about it is because was actually John and Yoko wrote that song from a place of deep love where she was playing Moonlight Sonata 
on a piano. And John out of nowhere said, could you play that backwards? That is actually the melody for Because. It's the ability to reflect back and to go forward into a new place with the Seven of Cups, the Six of Swords, Aquarius, Scorpio energy to get those deeper connections and to close the depth, the distance. Could be even a mindset or an age difference or something between the two of you guys. But it's the ability to continue your healing journey together. This Ace of Cups and a lot of Aces on repeats. 11-11 is the number of the Twin Flame card on the Four of Wands that's hanging out from that preview card and allow you guys to, to never stop believing in the journey but to actually be there for each other and to come in out of the cold in a correct energy so that you guys can make it together with the trust, the love, and the loyalty to find your way, find those directions, and pinpoint the exact locations, okay? Amazing energy for you guys. Oh my goodness, what a reading. Wow, claim it down in the comments, Pisces. You have got strong Leo energy. Cancer is here big time. Let's do another four part. Fixed energy off the Empress. Emperor is here too. These are the couples that like run the whole kingdom, okay? And level up to it. Libra. And also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's more Pisces as well as Gemini is here too. You've also got Sagittarius, Aries big time as well. And um, like everybody's here. I don't mention the Taurus. Taurus is laying low. Look at how the Hierophant's just hanging out in the ethers there. All right. There's a lot of divine timing and higher knowledge at play. And giving thanks to God for that above. Straight Hierophant as you guys awaken. Taurus season will be a big catalyst in this one. But it's already in the ethers happening right now. Wow. Pisces, claim this one in the comments. Definitely, um, I appreciate you for doing so. Let's manifest this one. And um, leave a comment. Let me know how it resonates. I do, I truly appreciate just the interaction with you. That's what we're all here for. And I know it takes me a little bit of time to respond to the comments. Knight of Pentacles, I stay busy, you know. But I do read, like, love, and I do reply to them all eventually. Knight of Pentacles. But I appreciate you for your patience as always. And I do read them. And I love and adore you for them, Pisces. And remember... This will resonate to any and all placements of Pisces within your sign because we're not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, but we're all parts of all our charts, all right? And I'm FHA compliant, so I will ironclad read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you have to do is ask, and if you'd like to, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com, and we'll hook up, book up, connect, and take it from there, all right? So until next time, thank you, Pisces, for taking time out of your day your life, your love, and energy to be here for me. Go enter the contest. It's over the most recent All Signs. And full disclosure on that long All Signs, I was on autopilot by your... I, I fell asleep by Sagittarius. My 3D me wasn't even here. It was Archer running the whole show on this one, but it was it was right there. It was a true all-in intuition for the last four, okay? Um, but yeah, go over there and enter into the contest. You deserve something for all that you go through and all that you do for everybody else, all right? So thank you. I do love and appreciate you for it, truly. And God... Spirit, thank you very much for the messages we got for Pisces today. As always, we are truly grateful for you. Definitely. All right, Pisces. Till next time, I'll see you then. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. Next week, I'll go back to exiting stage right. But right now, I'll just say goodbye. And goodbye, Instagram. Come on over to YouTube and subscribe. I love and appreciate you for being a part of Instagram too, guys. You're all part of the familiar here. Judgment-free zone.